Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. Uh, somebody sent me this belt buckle. He's a belt buckle designer craftsman. And then he also sent me this. I'm a little bit confused, but um, if you really want to do some of this, you need, and he knows that he needs to have a, a vector. So I just pulled some things off the internet, kind of a totally different look, but it would kind of give you the idea of what you need to do for this. And this is really pretty easy. We have this object. We're going to control D and make a duplicate of it while holding down the control button, move it to the other side. Now we could actually do that. Well, we could actually do this part here too. Control D, hold down the control button, grab that and move it up here. And then you could play around with that as much as you wanted to, or you could actually, you know, we could probably, uh, we could probably do it all at one time, but let's don't. Control G to group it together, Control D to duplicate it, and then mirror it the other way. Holding down the Control button to get it in the center and just kind of visually get it to the center. And you could do this with math, you know, and if this one, Let's say this one on the side isn't good enough because they're really not touching. And if you wanted them touching, but they're going to work for the video. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and select both of them and control G to group it, control D to duplicate it. And then I'm going to mirror it the other way, holding down the control button and move it to the other side. What the control button does, it keeps it from getting uh, off this line. He did put lines up here, so this is pretty smart. But what I, you know, if I don't know if he's got this capability of getting these, like a, you need this in vector format, and there are probably some out there. Uh, I just searched, you know, vector vines, and it came up with this. But then if that wasn't, you know, good enough and you wanted these, um, you know, actually touching, these, you know, in the belt buckle really aren't touching, but if, you know, if you, you could play around with this and get it done and then just take away your your dividing line so you knew where to go and and then whatever. I don't, I have no clue how he makes this stuff. Uh, I'd be willing to see more of what he does after I've tried to help him a little bit. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.